WBA 108 pound champion Rosendo Alvarez meets number one contender and former champion Pitchett Sirawat for Alvarez's junior flyweight title, which he's held since last March. As we get ready for the entrance of Thailand. Hey, I didn't know it'd be that warm in the United States, certainly in January, but we're here in Miami, and it is the tropics, and this crowd is just packed here at the High Life Front Time. Great anticipation as they rev up now, and you hear the boos because Sirawat is more or less the enemy. Coming from halfway around the world as he enters the ring here. He's fought 24 of his 26 career fights in his homeland of Thailand, including his most recent, a 10-round decision in Bangkok last month. In March of 1998, Sirawat captured the title that's on the line tonight, but ironically lost the belt when he was stripped by the WBA for failing to agree to face the then-mandatory challenger, of all things, Rosendo Alvarez, his opponent tonight. So, Steve, this is a fighter who should be anxious to set the record straight. Indeed, Nick, Sirawat actually has a lot in common with Ender Julio from our main event and that they're both former world champs and neither lost their title in the ring. It's wrong to stereotype fighters, but Sirawat is certainly not the usual Thai fighter. Thai fighters usually depend on strength and physical assets. He's a Pernell Whitaker-like fighter, a southpaw who depends on speed and reflexes. What he's got working against him, only once in history has a Thai fighter won a world championship in the United States. And as we see Sirawat, we look at the champion, Rosendo the Buffalo Alvarez. He fought only five weeks ago, knocking out David Torres in three in a non-title bout. Alvarez won the championship just last March when he beat Babis Mendoza in Las Vegas. That avenged the loss by disqualification seven months earlier to Mendoza when the two fought for the vacant WBA junior flyweight title here on Showtime. Many would say, Steve, though, that Alvarez's career-defining moments were his two epic battles with Mexican legend Ricardo Lopez. Nick, Lopez is a Hall of Famer, and Alvarez gave him two great fights. But in one of those fights, he had trouble making weight. And at yesterday's weigh-in, he had a lot of trouble making weight. The, the, the division limit is 108 pounds. He initially weighed 108 and a half, and he had killed himself to get that low. He came back an hour later. He made the weight. For a fighter like Alvarez, who depends so much on strength and physical power, he could be in a very weakened state, and that could hurt him tonight. He said he'd put on 10 pounds at this point uh, by, between the weigh-in and fight time. Let's look at the numbers. What do you see, Steve, in the tail of the tape here? Well, there's very little to choose between these guys in numbers. The big difference, Alvarez had trouble making 108. Sirawat made 108 very easily. That could be the key to this fight. As we look at the rules, the championship rules are in effect for this one, meaning no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. You can't be saved by the bell in any round. And in case of an accidental foul, if it occurs before the end of four, it will be a technical draw. After the end of four, it will go to the scorecards. So now it's time to see it unfold as Rosendo Alvarez defends his WBA junior flyweight title against Pitchett Sirawat, who's making his United States debut and a quest to take back a title that was his. Let's go to Dave Lemon for the introductions. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Miami High Lie, the home of High Lie, right here in Miami, Florida. Welcome to Mandatory Mayhem, brought to you by Don King Productions in association with Showtime Championship Boxing. At this time, we feature our first of the two main events. This is for the WBA Junior Flyweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Mendoza, along with the Florida State Boxing Commission, Chairman Alvin Enton. Positions at ringside are Dr. Stanley Simpson and Dr. Alan Fields. Your timekeeper is Carmine Chiricella, and counting the knockdowns will be Jeremy Levine. The judges for this bout, from Florida, Michael Pernick. Also from Florida, Mr. Mark Streisand. And from Venezuela, Mr. Fernando Viso. Your referee for this bout is Armando Garcia. Presenting first in the blue corner to my right, 
wearing the light blue trunks with a white trim. He is fighting out of Tayabum, Thailand. He weighed in at 108 pounds. His record is 25 wins against one loss with 12 wins coming via the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former WBA Junior Flyweight Champion and current number one contender, Pichit Siriwat! Siriwat! And across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is from Managua, Nicaragua. He weighed in at 108 pounds. His record is 30 wins, two losses. 19 of his wins coming via the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former WBA strawweight champion and current WBA junior flyweight champion of the world, Rosendo El Bufalo. Mr. Chai, please translate. Good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times, okay? The trunks here are just right, all right? Rosendo, hablamos en el camerino. Esto no es nada nuevo. Obedezcame en todo momento y protejase en todo momento, okay? Esto está bien aquí, okay? Toca guante que gane mejor. Touch gloves, may the best man win. God bless America. Those are the instructions, Steve. What are the keys to victory? For the champion, Rosendo Alvarez. Get physical. Surawat is a slick southpaw. Alvarez is very strong for this weight. The more infighting, the better for the Nicaraguan. Lead with overhand right. The lead punch, the lead right is a weapon that works against lefties, and regardless, this is Alvarez's best punch. Cut off the ring. Alvarez will be in trouble if he follows Surawat. If he can step lively, he'll force Surawat to trade. So the table is set, tank is full. We are ready to roll as we look at Surawat and his keys. Jab, jab, jab for the, ch the challenger. He doesn't want to trade. He can steal rounds just by jabbing accurately. Gain respect. If Sirawat doesn't land enough straight lefts to discourage Alvarez, he just might get run over. And move left and right. Sirawat prefers stepping to his left. He needs to vary his movement. Now we'll see if it plays out. Let's go to Armando Garcia in the center of the ring as we get underway with this title fight. Sirawat is the southpaw. Will he be moving to his right? Alvarez is the aggressor. He wants to create it here. Looks a little cautious here early. He tries to stick a lead hook. Low blow by Sirawat. Counter punch answered by Alvarez. It'll be interesting to see early if Alvarez seems like he's trying to save some of his energy, given that tremendous effort he had to make to make up. Alvarez missing with a combination. He's in the darker blue trunk. Sirawat from Thailand is the southpaw. Sirawat tries a lead left hand. Covers up and takes a couple of light taps to the belly. I'm a little surprised that Sirawat is coming forward with his chin out like that. Yeah, he's a very hard fighter to hit usually. And uh, at this weight, 108 pounds, work rate is very important. These guys usually throw a lot of punches. Sirawat doesn't fit that mold. He is sort of patient. He's a counter puncher. Doesn't throw a lot of shots. So really, it's up to Alvarez to simply outwork him. I think Alvarez has one of these fabulous work rates. He, again, wants to create aggression. But again, you touched on the weight issue. And this could be 12 hard rounds. You got to come out firing to some degree, but you got to pace yourself. Sirawat will always be punching upstairs to the face and chin. And Alvarez will be mixing his attack, punching a lot to the body. Sirawat, well, 
say, as I say that, he lands a left to the stomach, but he does not generally punch much to the body. Sure, with that interesting type of defense, he'll cock that lead right elbow up, cover in tight. He is hard to hit cleanly. He's not doing as much moving. I thought Alvarez would be coming after him. It is early here. We're inside one minute in round one. So this is a feeling out period. See what a guy does, how he moves, what he has, and avoid his power. And let's see how the referee reacts to Alvarez's body punches. Alvarez has been chippy in the past. Actually oh. got disqualified in the title fight for low blows and did the same thing to Ricardo Lopez. And Alvarez landed that left hook, but then was very off balance as Garcia stops to make sure that the tie's eyes are clear. Well, there was a butt. Zero at the rubbing at his eye a little bit. And a nice left lands by Sirawat. Jab's got to be the key for him, it would seem. There he comes back and smokes a little left hand that goes in. Well, Steve, as we close out um, round one, the heat's on. Who won that one? Very close round. I think Alvarez did enough work to the body, especially in the first half of the round, to take it. I'm surprised. I, I, I like Sirawat in that, but it's early. We want to invite those of you with internet access to visit our uh, website at show.com. There you'll find records and bios of tonight's fighters, as well as information on all upcoming Showtime boxing. So log on to show.com now as you enjoy the fights. Once again, the address, sho.com. As we're looking at the champion, three minutes in, I wouldn't expect him to be breathing very heavily. Maybe we'll, you hate to make too big an issue over a weight loss that was torturous, but it could be a factor, Steve. Well, zero you make a right punch, then you shape. can pull back a little. No problem. You just have a right punch. That's all. Nothing. When we talked to them yesterday, no problem was the buzzword. <laughs> zero Watt said nothing would be a problem. That Alvarez is aging, that his power is fading, and that his quickness is going, going, gone. He is 31 years old. Zero Watt, five years younger. Both been fighting a long time, though. Zero out with the lead left hand. Very wide there as he fails to hit the mark. That right lead cross, though. There with a counter as Garcia tells Alvarez to keep his punches up. He's even hit on Steve. He's disqualified to try to fight the, for the Macon title against Mendoza for hitting low. You know, a lot of times it's just a, a referee's call on, on body punches. If it's at the belt line, it depends on where that belt line is. Generally speaking, the uh, parameter for a low blow is the belly button. If it's below the belly button, it's considered low. Steve, watching Alvarez there on the attack, how seriously is this guy really committed to his jab, or is this just all funding? Does he want to lunge in there and cut the ring in half and make this an insult? Yeah, he's, he's not about a jab. He's not about being slick outside. He's about imposing his strength on his opponent. Again, at the weight, you might think that 108 pounds, quickness, speed is everything. Right. Good left hand by Sirwan. And he just it's, got out quick there. Yeah, it's, it's really strength very often, and, and Alvarez is so good because he's so much stronger than most fighters his weight. Sirwan is a guy not happy to retreat at all. He's definitely making the play, standing and willing to slug, though, and get out. Very cautious enough, I would think, Steve. So fighting a smart fight and not getting hit clean. Zerowat keeps his hands up. Doesn't give the other puncher much counterpunching opportunity. And here comes Alvarez on the move as he closes the gap and lands with that right. And there goes some more low shots that missed. Zerowat content to pose here and wait and play off Alvarez. Rather than take it to him himself with that jab. And now it's Sirot moving right, now moving back, and sticking that long lead left hand out. Here comes Alvarez, the thump to the body. No warnings from the ref so far, so uh, are those body shots being deemed legal? Alvarez with a couple of lunging shots that score as he soaks up a jab in return. Sirowat doesn't have to make the play here. He could count. That's his game, definitely. That straight left. 
over and over again. That's his ticket to victory. If he doesn't land that punch, he won't, he'll have no chance of winning. And another tough one to score here. Round two. Closes it out here in Miami. Our red corner translator is Benny Marichal, speaking to Vicente Alvarez. Just take it easy. Just have to come out with the left. Come out with the left. Take it easy. Don't don't rush yourself. Don't rush yourself. You got you got a lot of control. You 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 have to get you got the fight under control, but you got to have control. Don't uh, do a counter punch. Do a lot of counter punch. Counter, the, the, the right hook, the right, I want to go straight to the chest, not to the face, to the chest. Hit him in the chest. So combinations, the story there for Sirawat as they give him his between rounds instructions. They're telling him to jab Alvarez, or they're telling him to use the left. I would assume as a jab, Steve, and I still haven't seen it, seen it, and I still don't understand why he doesn't set up his power shots like that. I would think he would be more effective. But as you point out, it's sometimes ineffective against the left hand. Yeah, generally it is. And uh, very few lead right hands from uh, Alvarez. I think that would be a weapon that would be a good one to use. Alvarez with his hands high as he goes to the body again. Sirawat answers with that left. Sirawat just coming forward now and then moving out. As the smoke that left hand in. Sirawat with his hands up. Just saw an overhand right from Alvarez. That's his money punch. The straight left to Sirawat, the overhand right is Alvarez. With a 12 round fight, Steve, it's important to still feel him out at this point. There's no sense to to get overly aggressive if you're Alvarez. Yeah, that's just the way he fights. He's not a one-punch guy. He usually applies a little more pressure than he is here. I don't think he does. But, you know, he's fighting a guy who he has to, he has to his intelligence coming in. He can't just be reckless. Again, Pitch at Sirawat is a former junior flyweight champion. And he wants the title back. He's in the lighter blue. You'd call it the aqua, I suppose. And Rosendo Alvarez is the champion in the blue and white. Zero out getting off first now. As it's Alvarez who stumbles there. <laughs> Referee says it was a butt. Alvarez is caught above the right eye, Steve. Yeah, there's a little mark toward the nose. And also, Sirowat's uh, corner was using the end swell over his right eye, so the swelling over Sirowat's eye as well. Sirowat picking a lot of Alvarez's shots off with his gloves. Now, oh, Alvarez fight backing up? Well, he's backing up punch there. He's backing up for one of two reasons. Either he can't figure out how to win going forward, or he's weak, you know, weak at the weight. Doesn't have the strength to come forward and fight his normal fight. But if he's backing up, I'll put my money on Sirawat right now. Sirawat definitely seems to be taking it. He's taking it to him. This is not a guy who came in here to run. It's a guy fighting with a lot of conviction here as the challenger as he takes a shot. A little left hook that lands to the jaw. Alvarez dances and moves to the right, which is what Ciro Op would want, I would think, being a left-hander. So moving in with a power hand of Ciro Op. Good counter return there from Alvarez as he smokes that right hand. And another right there with conviction, perhaps the best punch of the fight. He discovered that punch this round. That is his best punch, and he didn't do it for two rounds. Timing. He starts to time the tie. They close out round three. And a round that looked like it belonged to the champion. No doubt. He won it in the last minute with those right hands. As we listen in again in the corner. He goes, don't dance, don't dance so much. You gotta throw a lot of a lot of combinations. Don't dance too much. Don't leave, don't lead with the left so much. Don't beat the surprise. Don't lead so much with the left. A lot of combinations. Yeah, that was a good round for us. A good round for us. Every, every last, every last 30 seconds, we want to end strong. Yeah, the, the, you see the referee right away indicate here that it was a butt. Looked like it was the, to the cheek of, of Alvarez, so uh, no great 
That was a bad one. No great damage, though. And Alvarez, again, won this round with right hands. Again, overhand. It's an overhand punch. That's his best right, and it's a great weapon against the lefty. He has to use it just as much as Sirawad has to use his left. Alvarez's corner is really mimicking what you said, I think, Steve. More or less, forget about the left here against the lefty. There goes the big right as he whistles one. That sure got Sirawad's attention here, but he's standing flat-footed. Sirawad pulls up. Wanted to pull the trigger, but nothing was there. Alvarez will often take shots to land some of his own. Sticky. Sure, and maybe he's, uh, you know, playing a little game here and kind of drawing Sirwat in so he can get in better range to land that right hand. He's a veteran, and uh, that would be a smart move. But into the fourth round, would you agree that these guys look pretty evenly matched at this point? This doesn't look like a challenger who doesn't belong by any means. This looks like a definite threat to uh, pitch at Sirwat to win a title. Oh, sure. And, and as soon as I saw that Alvarez had trouble with the weight, I thought uh, Sirwat's the underdog. There's no doubt about it. This crowd's all for Alvarez. But I thought an, an upset was very much a possibility. Still is. Alvarez again, forgetting about the left, just loading up with that right hand and delivering. And there, a counter combination. And Sirawat misses wide. Sirawat with not much conviction on his punches in this round. And very little on Sirawat's jab. We figured that'd be a key. He's not scoring with it, and he's very one dimensional. Jab left hand, jab left hand. Well, the jab isn't landing or scoring with anything on it. Sirawat tries to lead left. Circles to his right. Some head feints there that Alvarez doesn't bias. And Nicaraguan tries to run his man down. Sendo Alvarez. In the darker blue and white, he's the champion. We're in the fourth round, scheduled for 12, of course, this being the title fight. And now some swelling under Sirwat's left eye, the direct result of those overhand rights. 45 seconds to go in round four. Good but not blistering pace by any means. Feeling is they may pick it up a little bit more. Both looking to counterpunch, so. And boy, is Alvarez counterpunching with that right hand. Now he senses he's got the tie in trouble. As he begins to boom those right hands in and chase his man around the rim. Alvarez feeling he's got Sirawat in trouble as he pounds low here. Garcia tells him to keep it up, but it's Sirawat trying to get off the ropes and get out of round four unscathed. The most vigorous action so far of the fight as Alvarez is winning away at the foul. And the crowd loves it. So he turns massage, on the Jets massage. there at the end of round four. Let's listen Hurry in. Up. Do the massage, quick. Come on. I left hand. I left hand. Focus. I left hand. I left hand. I left hand. Quick. Don't go slow. When you punch, you block. Best round for the champion so far, Steve. Boy, it turns fast. And he did it with right hands. He did it with counter right hands. Sort of taking away the play from Sirawat. That's what Sirawat likes to do. Very wide shots. And that low blow that Alvarez landed. The referee chose not to make a big deal out of it. He just gave him a quick hand motion warning. It would have taken away all his momentum if the referee had stopped the fight at that point to issue a more formal warning. It was low, almost hit the uh, tie in the ankle. I don't think those were thunderous punches from the champion, but Sirawat, and the champion was open, but Sirawat was in full retreat there. So let's see if he could counter, especially against a guy who's probably going to be more aggressive at this round. There goes that looping left hand. Sirawat's instructions were to focus more. Now he's moving to his right, but mostly it's in and out movement, Steve. We talked about angles and how important they would be. I'm not seeing a lot of it. I'll tell you, as effective as Alvarez has been these last two rounds, it makes you really... I, I'm a fan of, of weigh-ins 24 hours before a fight. He was so dehydrated yesterday. 
He had more than 24 hours to rehydrate, and as a result, he's competitive. If he had to fight six or eight hours after making weight, big trouble. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have made it. And there's a stinging combination to the face of Sirawat. Sirawat comes back though and pours on some pressure of his own. So Sirawat definitely taking the play here, and that lead left sneaks through. But be careful, Sirawat the champion now. He's coming forward and Alvarez is going to counter with the right hand. And the left there stings Alvarez backs him up. Alvarez content to stand there though and trade. He won't back up and won't retreat. And now it's getting wild as Sherlock lands two right crosses and the referee lets them fight on. Armando Garcia now pulling him apart. Sirawat is in the champion's face now. Good idea, bad idea, Steve. Dangerous idea, but what a comeback round. You know, he was a champion for a long time. He's showing why. And from Alvarez's perspective, hey, if Alvarez can take the shots of Ricardo Lopez, he can take the shots of Pitch Zero. And Alvarez there landing with a right hand. And sneaking through the middle, there's another right hand. Tough round to call. But definitely great ebb and flow and good, solid two-way action. Chilling right hand there, a little short one, and that's the way to fight a left-hander, you would think. Just as Alvarez is doing, shorten up a little bit. Lefties are used to picking off those right hands all day if they're too long. Big right hand by Alvarez. Back and forth this round. This, I believe, is the way Alvarez should be fighting. Shortening up that right a little bit. But now he's wild again as he senses he has his man fatigued and maybe hurt. And Alvarez just now going to the body. First body punches he's throwing quite a while. But back comes Sirawat. And once again, he is in the champion's wheelhouse. Now he retreats a little bit. 15 seconds to go in this round five. A right that gets nothing but air. And Alvarez eats a short jab in return. Here comes Sirawat. Important to look good down the stretch of these rounds. Who do you give it to, Steve? Zero watts round. He did enough work early with those left hands. And how do you have it after five? I have Alvarez ahead 48 to 47. Again, this was a roller coaster round, Steve. Really can simplify this fight by saying it's Sir Watt's left hand against Alvarez's right. The difference is, I think Alvarez is clearly the harder puncher. And then Alvarez comes back later in the round, straight right hand, always a great weapon against the southpaw. He's got to use it more often. Alvarez has fought six or seven lefties in his career. This is nothing new for him. And I just think the way he shortened up that punch, just threw it out there very short. It's about an 18 inch punch rather than trying to come from left field with it. That's the way to hit this guy. And we'll see if Sarah Watts' corners made adjustments and if the fighter in the lighter blue can himself. Sirawat ducks under a shot and turns the champion around. Alvarez in blue and white is the right-hander. Doubling up on the hook there. Trying a straight right hand, that short one again. He's got his right hand in front of him, looking not to cock it as much. That's where he had success in that last round. Sirawat coming forward. Not what we expected. Alvarez just want to get this guy in a firefight state. Again, there's only two reasons he could be moving backward. He's not in great shape and he knows it. Or he's trying to suck the tie in. And uh, judging by how he's fought the first five rounds, I have to think he's trying to draw him in. And there goes Sarawak with that lead left hand. That finds a target. And a nice left there to the jaw by Sarawak. Nick, you remember once this fight, the referee having to break these two? It hasn't been a clinch, has it? Been great. Lighter divisions. It's all action usually. Now here we go as we speak, but nothing serious. Armando Garcia from the less is more school of wrestling. He has <laughs> stayed out of the way. Zero out with a combination to the head. Making the champion lunge and look off balance there. As Alvarez resets. 
looking for an opening as he's in tight but doesn't try the uppercut. Zero on walking Alvarez down now. Little left and he takes a nice right in return. Alvarez is looking to counter now and doing it fairly effectively. Missing there as he wings a left. Would have been dangerous. Sirawat standing in front of Alvarez. Sailing wide shots there. First a left, then a right. Hey, Alvarez looks a little slow, but he's placing his punch as well. Not the fastest 108-pounder, and again, maybe that's from being weak. His punches are coming slowly, but they're coming accurately. Is Sirawat mixing enough? He was very wide there. Should he go down the middle more like there? Well, certainly with the straight left, uh, he's got a lot better chance of landing it if it's, if it's a straight punch because Alvarez tends to roundhouse that right. Zero Watt is willing to stand and fight. I expected a little bit more movement out of him in terms of maybe a one-two and get out of danger. As we close out the sixth round, we approach... The halfway mark of this scheduled 412 for the WBA Junior Flyweight title that now belongs to Rosendo Alvarez. And there he is. And there's Pitchett Sirawak from Thailand, the champion Alvarez. That was good. That was good. Breathe, breathe, deep breath, deep breath. Oh, good counter punch. Right, right to the chest, right to the chest. Always end the round, always start good and, uh, and end good. Uh, if you don't knock him out, oh, well, I want you to start good and end good. Everything good, everything good. Come on, think about your wife. Well, he said, think about your wife. Not a bad idea. <laughs> and he picked the motor that round card girl. I hope he wasn't looking at her. <laughs> He's got more Ooh, very important left issues. Hand. As they go out for round number seven here, scheduled for 12 in this championship fight here on Showtime. Alvarez digs the left to the body. Sierra wants the guy coming forward. Quick combination there to the headlands. Road reversal. Sirawat, all his title fights. Walked right into that right hand. Uh, he and did, and hands that. down is Alvarez here, hot dogging a little bit as he takes a combination to the head. Yes, roll reversal. In most of Sirawat's title fights, that's why he gained the reputation as if sort of a Cornell Whitaker of the 108 pounders. He moved, he danced, he counted, kept his distance. Now he's coming forward. But Alvarez, and, and just the look in his eyes and the expression on his face, Steve. An air of disdain for Sirawat here. He looks like an angry guy who really wants to do business. And we'll rev it up. We'll see. Just the read you get. And Sirawat really fighting the way he said yesterday. He thought Alvarez was shot. He thought he was an old fighter. That's the way, that's the approach he's taking in this fight. And right now, this round is working for him. Well, how do you have it halfway through this? I have Alvarez ahead two points. Sirawat so far this round, gonna make it a one-point fight on that point. One way to go, though, halfway. Alvarez just standing flat-footed and squared up and willing to oblige, happy to trade as he wails away with that right hand and now works to jolt the tie with an uppercut. And there's a great combination against the ropes. Clearly, Alvarez's best work in a while. Sirawat just looks like a willing target here, Steve. Only been down once in his career, a seventh pro fight. Again low by Alvarez Nepal from Garcia. He's only been down once. It was his uh, established defeat to Leo Gamez, who's a world-class champion. Seven years ago, seven, seven eight, eight years ago. He was only 19 Steve. at the time, so he's got a good chin. And it's being tested again and again as Alvarez hammers away with short, jolting shots. And another... Oh, a stinging right rock. Sarawat, who's in his own corner and looks to be in some trouble. But he spins out of danger. Begins to move away, but now he's standing flat-footed. Big yeah, mistake, he... Steve. 
I don't know if he can make it. 20 seconds left. He's really wide open, and I don't know if he has the legs anymore to do anything but take shots. Oh, right, that just zings the challenger, and another overhead right that fairly rocks his world. As here comes Alvarez on the move, the last five seconds of the round, and Sirawak is a man in desperate shape at this point as his corner gets him down on the stool and goes to work. Two-point round to sit for Alvarez. You give him two. Now you have it a four-point advantage. Exactly. Come on. Got to shake him up and wake him up. Alvarez just showing total disdain at this point. But again, Sirowat's hands are down. He can't fight that way. Look at look at where his hands are when he gets hit. His hands are by, by his uh, his chest. We just saw it in his expression. He just said, this guy can't hurt me, but I'm not going to pump up the volume. And he has. He took a tremendous beating that round. Combinations. I really thought at this point, as you see Alvarez pound away. Yeah, Sirowat's feet almost went out from under him. He's very, very game. So, pitch at Sirawat getting seriously outdone there in the seventh heat as he answers the bell for round number eight. And here comes the champion winging a right that misses. And the Thai fighter falls down, clearly fatigued here. Can Alvarez close the show here? Steve, should he just go for it now? He's got him clearly hurt. Why be patient? There's a couple of uppercuts that ring home. Oh, big shots there. He's landing everything. Uppercuts, hooks. Down the middle. Zero Watt's eyes seem to be closing. That left eye is swollen. And it just doesn't seem like Zero Watt has the power to trade. Even if Zero Watt lands, what difference is it going to make? A numbing left hand by Alvarez as he walks the challenger down. Another stinging left. Zero Watt has stopped punching. Well, there he tries. You know, Alvarez, not a one-punch knockout guy like Ricardo Lopez, but boy, he places his shots. Here it comes Alvarez again. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Steve, what should Sarawat be doing? Here's a guy who needs to breathe. I think that's it. He has to buy time. He, is he doing it, though? He's right in front of the champion. He's just, he's got pea shooters right now. He doesn't have anything to hold Alvarez off. There's really not much he can do. What about his legs? He needs to stall. He needs to call a timeout. Are there 30-second timeouts? 20-second <laughs> timeouts? Time -out. boxing, baby. Yeah. That's why we love it. Throw out with his gloves up. As he answers with a counter left that sneaks through and backs the champion up temporarily. But here comes Alvarez. Alvarez virtually ignoring the body Just right now. Having his way, though, as he wades in. There he goes to the body with a combination. Now upstairs with a little jab. Zero Watt fighting back. Knowing he's got to take some rounds in a hurry here. If he needs to have any chance to take, a, take away Alvarez's title. Not looking good. The pitch at Zero Watt. His, his reflexes are virtually shot. He's making no effort, no upper body or head movement to get away from the shots. His left eye is very swollen. There's Alvarez teeing off again as he measures his man. Well placed shots. And Alvarez hasn't even drawn more than one warning for punching low, and he's landed plenty of low shots. Come on, it's not gonna. Zero watt. Coming back. Not much steam on his shots, though. Seconds to go here. Oh, the right hand started it. And down goes Sarawak. Three. A lead lunging right hand from the champion Alvarez. Six. Seven. Eight. Followed by the combination. Now, with two seconds left, no time to close the show in this round. As they high five each other. Another 10 8, obviously. Yeah, that, this is uh, getting out of reach on points for Sirawat. Probably won't be a problem, but he doesn't look like he's going to make it to the end. There's the wake-up yes. call. Can he answer a serious alarm? Pitch at Sirawat. Take a deep breath. Clearly dazed. What's wrong with you? Right hand. 
It was really to the ear, and it was more an accumulation than one shot that sent Sirawat down. He was ready to go down for two rounds, really. That right, left, right, but that right was on the button. Yeah, the left hook and the right and the left hook were much more effective than the shot that ultimately put him down. Excellent shots here. Another look. Textbook combination. And the challenger is down, but now back up. Will he survive? Alvarez with home run shots here. Looking to close the show. But still fighting in control. This is not a wild guy in the ring. And no movement from Sirwa. No lateral movement. Don't understand it. No, he doesn't have the legs are gone. He's just taking too much abuse. Steve, you talked about that right from the champion being his big punch. And he delivered there. With that jolting combination of the eighth round. First knockdown, only second time in Sarah Watt's career has he been down. One of the biggest seven and a half years ago. One of the biggest misconceptions in boxing is that the little guys can't punch. You think about Ricardo Lopez, the king of this division. <laughs> he has scored so many one-punch knockouts. Oh, right-hand lead by Alvarez finds the mark. Sirawat wild and missing here. Looking to put something together to get an offensive gear. He is flat-footed and wide stance. As his movement has all but stopped. Now he's trying to revive himself, get on his feet a little bit, and get up on his toes. But Alvarez with a shot at the belt line. Yeah, that was low, and he got a verbal warning, but there still hasn't been a formal warning issued. This is where a corner man, a loud blue duba like corner man, can come in handy. If I'm in the tie's corner, I'm screaming about those low blows. Maybe I can buy my fighter a, a few minutes or a point deduction or something. Nothing coming out of the tie's corner about these Good low point. blows. Sierra Watt needs it desperately. Halfway through round number nine, Sierra Watt standing and slugging and taking a two-punch combination right down the middle. Here comes Alvarez on the move with the rights, and Sarah Watt in full retreat right now. Bounces off the ropes and absorbs punishment. And he invited that by standing right in front of Alvarez and willing to trade. Now he's hugging. With still a minute to go in round nine. He's got some work to do to get out of this one, Steve. What can he possibly do? Keep his gloves up for one thing and move. He's not going to win the fight by doing that, but he'll last the distance. Alvarez measuring his mark, loading up. Sneaks in a unconventional punch for him, a jab. There he is in tight. As Alvarez continues to lay on the heat and create the kind of aggression that he likes. Takes shots on the gloves from the challenger. No knockdown! No knockdown! Not a knockdown! What a fatigue punch if we ever saw one. Well, he threw the left so hard that he uh, threw himself off balance. Just doesn't hit hard enough for Sierra Watt. That's, that's, that's simple. Sierra Watt taking a beating here. Without any power to discourage the champion. sense of urgency because he knows the tie can't hurt him so he just picks his spots puts his puts his punches together punches through the and there's that low right hand no warning okay he's getting away with a lot of low blows in this fight and here's that punch that missed Dave yeah you see Sarah White with the left hand doesn't have the legs to keep his balance throwing that left that missed Alvarez not in the least concerned about taking shots he'll just punch through the challenger's punches, knowing he's the more powerful man here. And clearly, nine rounds through this championship fight, the better fighter. Resendo Alvarez is the champion, 31 years old. He's in the darker blue, and he is clearly, clearly has this fight in hand. And I think back to yesterday when we were talking to Alvarez, did he or did he not look like a guy who was just had been in the sun for about four days? He was slumping in his chair. He actually at one point tried to spit, and virtually nothing came out of his mouth. Because he had 28 hours after the weigh-in, he was able to rehydrate. And you see a pretty, pretty healthy, energetic fighter here. He's not firing many blanks tonight. Zero 
Seems to be a bit revived, certainly in better shape than he was through round nine. Punches aren't landing. Alvarez backing off the pedal a little bit, Steve, and maybe taking the breather of his own. It takes a lot of energy to land shots, but there's that crisp left hook. He's really fought at one pace. He takes his time, picks his shots. He does, fighting very much in control, where he's tended to get wild and has been an inviting target in the past. And at no point in the 10 rounds has it looked to us like Alvarez was running out of gas or that the uh, tremendous weight loss affected him. He started training at 130 pounds for this, and he had to get down to 108. Hey, look at him moving now. He's bouncing on his toes. He looks like a fresh fighter in the 10th heat. And again, a warning, but only a verbal warning from the referee. No point deduction for that low blow. Oh, combination there. Jolts the challenger. Another combination, short left, and it looks like Sarawak could be ready to fall. Not firing any shots, just waiting to absorb here. And Justin, retreat right now. We're still over a minute to go in round no, no, 10. No, 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 no punching. Step back. Tremendous heart from the tie, but at this point, you do have to wonder if the corner should consider stopping the fight. Yeah, he's just outgunned, Steve. There's nothing he, he seems to be able to do at this point to discourage the champion from having his way. Having, a minute to go in round 10. Having watched a lot of fighters from Thailand in title fights, it's not their way to quit. He's going to go out and get knocked out if he loses or he'll lose on points. But I don't think he's going to quit, and I don't think his corner is going to quit. It's sort of against their, their idea of what the sports whole, is all about. The whole ethic of him, yeah. And it, the, the fiber of this guy. He did own the title at one time. But once again, the pride and the fact that he went halfway around the world to win this, try and win it back. He's not going to spit the bit out easily, as you say. And Sarah Watts people said, this is a fight we've been waiting for for two years. Well, sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> All right. Here comes Alvarez. He knows there's less than 10 seconds left. So he's going to finish in a flurry here. Okay, no need, no need. Step back, no punching. Round 10 comes Time. to a close. A shot after the bell. Little consequence at this point. Steve, on the cards, we know Sirawat needs a knockout, but how do you have it? I have Alvarez 98 to 90. One sided mm -hmm. fight at this point. Good night, good night. Good night. One of the things I like, Nick, about Alvarez, especially in comparison to Sirawat. Look at the, 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 the diversity of his combinations. You don't know what's coming if you're fighting him. Is it going to be an uppercut, a lead right, where Sirawat is pretty much about jab, straight left, jab, straight left. Everything from different angles from Alvarez. This is why this guy gave Ricardo Lopez two great fights. I agree with you. The element of surprise. Use that right hand as a lead. Well, on that, the belt line. Yeah, it was on the belt line. a lot worse. True. Sirawat hasn't caught Alvarez leaning once. Alvarez's balance has not been picture perfect. But it just seems that Sirawat is just evidently outclassed. He doesn't have an answer. Yeah, and Sirawat, one knockout victory since 1996. You have to, he's not, he's not gonna play catch up. He's, he's not the Los Angeles, the St. Louis Rams offense, you know. He's, <laughs> he's gonna pick and poke and then hope to beat you on points. And at this point, I think the hole he's in is way, way too deep. Alvarez clearly showing who's boss here. There's no doubt. He is the hombre in the ring at this time. A game pitch at Sarawak. It's less than nine minutes to pull off a minor miracle. But he's got a punch to do it. Those taps aren't going to discourage anybody. Swelling under his left eye. Ty, though, comes Don't forward gallantly right. as they break. And swelling over the right eye of the tie as well. His right eye virtually closed. He's a mess. Fans chanting Buffalo. That's uh, Alvarez's nickname. That's Buffalo if you need a translation. Hey, <laughs> no, I get it. All right. <laughs> covering up here his eye clearly bothering him as he's rubbing it with his left glove but Alvarez still patient knowing he's got it in the bag unless he makes a hellacious mistake 
Necessary to win with this kind of conviction, knock this guy out, and there he goes. That right hand started it all, Steve. Any win is a good win at this point for Alvarez, given uh, the body punches really hurt Cerro But there. don't you let it all hang out at this point. He doesn't have to. You know, he really doesn't have to. It's going well the way it is. He has, he has no chance of losing this fight. I can't see any scenario, even if Cerro lands a perfect left. He's not, Alvarez isn't going to go down. Well, he wants Ricardo Lopez again. Sure. Bought him twice. Maybe he doesn't want too good. And I think a third fight with Ricardo Lopez is the only thing that would keep Alvarez at 108 pounds. Chasing Cerro out around the ring. That right eye is closed, Nick. Cerro's right eye is closed. Valiant effort by Pitch at Cerro. Step back. This is a man who can't measure up to the champion here. Crunching left hooks to the body by Alvarez. And tumble fight and inside the ropes it's clear pitch at Sarah Watts getting the worst of it indeed Alvarez is not only hitting Sarah Watts with legal punches there have been butts there have been low blows that right hand didn't even get a warning and I, I you know Sarah Watts eyes are closed it's not just from the legal punches like those but also from the butts and he's a mess been frozen in his tracks by some power shots from the champion Alvarez. Again, gallant to that he hasn't even thought about quitting this one, knowing he's hopelessly behind. Will we see a forego in the stretch of Belmont Park? I don't think so, Steve. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But here comes Sirawat with intentions. No forego. Instead, what we have is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> Very much in control, composed, confident, and why not? He's had his way. Well, Sir, a former uh, Muay Thai kickboxer in Thailand, maybe he can kick Alvarez. He's going to need more weapons here. Yeah. And now a little hot dogging as we see the Buffalo cocking that right hand and waving in the air to show Sirawak what's coming next. to left and tries to hammers another one to the head. And Alvarez just resets, replants, and gets ready to tee off. And more low shots. No one from the referee. More low shots from Alvarez. Halfway through this final round. Oh, way low. And the referee doesn't even make a move. Sirawat standing in front of his guy. That left hook from Alvarez was way low. Garcia, the referee, all eyes on the challenger. Who is down there? Six, seven. Will he beat the eight. count? He will. Let me see. Come on. Come will on. he get out of this Ready? fight? Come on. I would like to see this fight stop. He's been in. He's taking abuse for a lot of rounds. Garcia jumps in. He's seen it all. Good, 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 good call. Then I want you to get me some ice, a piece of ice. Ladies and gentlemen, time of about two minutes and ten seconds of the twelfth round for the winner by technical knockout, the new WBA junior lightweight champion of the world, Rosendo 
Alvarez. Well, he's not that new. He came in here with a belt, and he's going out of there with it. Hey, Daddy, we did it. Now it's your turn. All right, Daddy? Maybe we'll see him again with Ricardo Lopez. We'd I don't know, it. but I'd pay, I'd pay to see it. it. Yep. Let's get the 